Today, I want to show you how to make up to $10,000 a month or more working from home. I personally love working from home because I get to sleep in, have my coffee, and then just walk into the next room where my office yes. is. So in today's video, I want to show you nine work from home jobs that pay up to $10,000 a month or more. And for most of them, you don't need any special qualifications or experience. I assume he's qualified to be one. Ready? Let's go. The first job on the list is subtitling. The average salary for a work from home subtitler is about $50 $5,000 a year, but it can range from $18,000 all the way up to $112,000 for more experienced or more technical subtitlers. You can do subtitling from home for a lot of different companies, but today I want to tell you about happyscribe.com. As a subtitler with them, you can earn up to 3,000 euro a month, so that's about 3,000 US at the current exchange rate. However, most people earn about 450 euro a month because they choose to do this job as a side income and only choose to work a few hours per week. And what exactly are you expected to do as a subtitler? As a subtitler, you're gonna help Happy Scribe to convert audio files into written text. These audio files can be technical, medical, legal, or a variety of other types of files. And your job will be to listen carefully to the audio and proofread the subtitles that are already generated by the AI tool that Happy Scribe owns. This job requires no special qualifications and can be done by anyone who speaks one of these languages fluently, English, French, Spanish, German, Dutch, Polish, Italian or Portuguese. As you can see, it's an easy and flexible job and can be done from anywhere in the world. It's definitely not the highest paying. You can earn about 0.9 euro per minute of transcribed audio all the way up to about 1.6 euro per minute in some of the languages. But this job offers flexible hours so you can log on and do a little bit of subtitling whenever you've got some spare time. So if you'd like to apply for the subtitling jobs, just head over to happyscribe.com slash subtitling dash jobs and click the apply button and go through the application process. Next, let's look at customer support jobs. Customer support specialists make an average of about $37,000 per year, but the range can go from about $19,500 all the way up to about $58,000 per year. Every company in the world needs some kind of customer support. And therefore, customer support is probably the most common work from home job that you can imagine. Yeah. Even I have a support desk and I hire someone for five hours per week to do my support tickets. With the average salary of $37,000 per year, clearly this job is not going to make you rich. What? But of course this job offers a ton of other benefits. If you do this from home, you've got a lot of flexibility, you can work part-time hours, and you can spend more time with your kids or with your family. But let's take a look at some of the real world customer support jobs. If you head over to upwork.com, type in customer support and take a look at the vacancies that exist, you can see there is huge demand for customer support jobs, 5,395 jobs posted as of right now looking for remote customer support staff. Some of these jobs actually pay really, really well. You can see there are some jobs that offer between 15 and $25 per hour. And there are some other listings that you can see if you go through all of these listings that pay even more than that. And if we look on indeed.com, we type in customer service and then we filter by location remote, you will see that there are 2,697 jobs listed here. A lot of these jobs pay decent money, 13 to 14 dollars per hour, 13 to 17 per hour, five to seven thousand a month, 42 to 54 thousand dollars per year. So pretty decent money considering that you can do all of this working from home. Next up in this video is probably the simplest work from home job that you can possibly imagine and that is data entry. As a data entry specialist you can earn between seventeen and a half thousand dollars to eighty three and a half thousand dollars with the average salary being forty one and a half thousand dollars per year. The best thing about this job is that you don't need to have any special qualifications and no special experience. You just need to be able able to enter the information into the computer efficiently. For example, here is a very typical data entry role and you can see that the primary job function is to accurately translate information into various customer or company templates and databases. So it's basically taking information from one place and then just typing it into the other. In terms of the education and experience, the only thing that's required is minimum 50 words per minute typing skills with 0% error ratio. Having good typing skills will definitely help a lot with data entry roles. And if you currently don't have great typing skills, you can go to websites like Typing Academy, which are completely free and you can improve your typing skills here. Using these exercises, you can improve your typing skills in a game like Mana. And it doesn't take very long to improve your typing skills if you just follow these simple exercises here. Lots of companies are always looking for data entry clerks. And if you go into data entry for the United States, look at location and filter by remote, you will see there are currently 
561 roles that are listed on indeed.com. There's a huge amount of data entry opportunities on Upwork as well, 14,945 jobs found right now. So data entry is really stress-free and can be a great work from home job where you can basically just chill out at home, be close to your family and earn reasonable money. Next job on the list is Okay, well, I've got to be honest, that's probably one of the coolest jobs on today's list, and that is being a voiceover actor. Did you know that you, yes, you, can be a voiceover actor and earn good money doing it? Voiceover actor average salary is 80,000 per year, but it can go all the way up to 206,000 per year. And the best thing is that you don't need any experience or degree to get started. The cool thing is that you can do this from anywhere in the world because there is demand for different types of voices and different types of accents. For example, if we're going to Upwork and we're look for Indian voiceover, you'll see there are some really interesting jobs that have been posted. For example, here, a female voiceover artist, well-spoken English with Southern Indian accent, late 40s, early 50s. It's a really easy one hour job and estimated budget for this is $500. So that's a really good opportunity to spend one hour doing the voiceover and earn $500. Likewise, if I search for Australian accent, for example, I can see that there are some really cool assignments such as this YouTube voiceover hourly 20 to $100 per hour of voice. Voiceover. So that's pretty good money for just being able to record your voice and earn that kind of money per hour. And there are quite a few websites that are specifically dedicated to finding these voiceover jobs. And I'm going to put these websites over here for you guys to check them out in case you'd like to score a voiceover job. Next on our list of work from home jobs is Apple. Yes, Apple, the world famous technology company. You've probably dreamt about working at Apple. Well, at least I have. And now there is an opportunity to work from home for Apple. Apple have these home advisor positions and the average salary for home advisor positions is $65,000 per year but it can range from about 19,000 to about 140,000, depending on your location and experience. As an at-home advisor for Apple, you will be the first point of contact for customers who want some support or some help with choosing a product. As Apple themselves say, you'll be the friendly voice of Apple answering questions about products and services and providing world-class customer service, troubleshooting and technical support. To see what Apple at-home advisor jobs are available right now, just go over to the website, find this page, click this link and see what at-home advisor positions are available in your country. Next on the list is Automatic.com. Automatic.com are a technology company that are 100% remote. There is no single central office or single location and there are currently 2,058 people that work in that company in over 100 companies speaking 122 different languages. It's a truly global, truly remote company. They are the company that have created WordPress.com, WooCommerce, Jetpack, Tumblr, a lot of other technical solutions that you can see here on the screen. They constantly hire both technical and non-technical people. You can see their current openings from their website if you click on work with us and currently they're hiring in the areas of engineering designers, business development and marketing, happiness engineers, people, legal and finance, and pressable and product. So those jobs are probably more suitable to those of you guys who are slightly more technical, but I absolutely could not ignore this company because if we look at the salaries that they're paying, they are pretty huge. It's $130,000 on average and the salary range is from $76,000 to $278,000. So as you can imagine, working from home, making $278,000 and working on some really cool technology projects is just awesome. So if you have any technology qualifications, I highly recommend that you check out their current roles. Who knows, maybe this could be your next gig. And while we're on the topic of WordPress, I wanted to tell you about the next really exciting work from home opportunity and that is being a WordPress website developer. Every business in the world needs a website. And nowadays, many regular people or YouTubers like myself and even people who just work regular jobs often have a website. So no wonder that WordPress developers are in really high demand. The average salary is $66,000 and it can vary from about $22,000 all the way to about $110,000 per year. Now that is if you work for someone else in a job. But if you want to make real money as a WordPress website developer, then you need to start freelancing and working for yourself because as a freelancer, you can make really good money building websites for other people. Check out this listing here from Upwork.com. There's a listing with a $200 fixed price budget and what they want is just a very simple single page website for a startup, which will say coming soon and have a couple of blocks of text with images. That's it, just a simple coming soon website for $200. Now guys, to build a website like this, if you know how to use WordPress, 
takes about 20-30 minutes maximum and to build a very simple coming soon one page website will take even less time than that so even if you're not very fast if it takes you two hours to do this this is still $200 so that's 100 bucks an hour that you can get paid for doing this in case you're wondering what WordPress is WordPress is the back-end content management platform behind a lot of websites I run all my websites on WordPress and this is what it looks like on the inside it's super easy to use if you can use Microsoft Word that you can definitely use WordPress because it's just point and click and start typing and building websites like this one here is actually quite simple once you've got the hang of how to use WordPress. I'm really terrible with technology and even I managed to learn how to use WordPress so if I can then you definitely can as well. There are also a ton of videos on YouTube that you can watch for free that will explain to you how to build a WordPress website or you can always jump over to udemy.com where you can complete a full course and even get a certificate in WordPress development. There are courses that start from about 10, 15, 20 dollars that go for 20, 30, 40 hours and get you an actual certificate at the end. And the rewards for being a WordPress developer are huge. There are a ton of jobs that you can see on indeed.com or on any other job website which pay 40,000, 60,000, 89, 113,000 per year. And note how it says remote. That means that you can do this job from home. All right, next up on the list is a blog writer or freelance writer. Do you like reading or writing? Well, if you do, then you're potentially sitting on a gold mine because even if you work for someone else, you can earn about $60,000 per year on average as a content writer and it can go up to about 100,000 per year. Every website in the world needs content on their website and all of these websites are constantly publishing new posts, new pages, or updating their existing content. So writing skills are always in high demand and demand for content is always going up and up and up. Writing can be very profitable as well, especially once you've built up a little bit of reputation, a bit of portfolio. Take a look at these Upwork listings. We can see that this freelancer here, Randy, her hourly rate is $50 per hour. And we can even see that some people, for example, Iftika from Pakistan at $40 per hour has earned over $500,000 in verified earnings writing content for other people's blogs and websites. This person, Valerie from the United States, $4 million earned over the past 16 years on Upwork alone. And this person, Assad from Pakistan, has earned over $50,000 and so on. You can see all of these listings where people are making really good money by creating quality content for others. I run several blogs myself, which I'll talk about in just a moment. And I currently employ several full-time writers. You can see these are the billings for just one of the writers who is working for us. We've paid over $10,000 just on this one contract to this one writer for producing the content. And there is such a huge demand for writers all the time that you can easily make over 100,000 per year being a freelance content writer. Look at this on Upwork right now. There are 12,534 jobs listed for content writers. And if we look at the intermediate and expert levels of pay, you can see that a lot of people are offering really good money for good experienced content writers. So once you've got a little bit of experience under your belt, you can earn between 20 and 60 dollars per hour. 40 and 75 dollars per hour 40 and 100 dollars per hour so this is something that is in high demand requires no qualifications no formal education as long as you can just produce good content and if you don't know how to produce good content yet this is something that you can learn to do over time okay so you've just watched this section about being a blog writer but what about being one of those people that hire these content writers and blog writers well that's the next thing on our list being a website owner that's actually one of the things that I do in my business and I own several websites one of these websites is travelcroc.com on this website we publish a bunch of different information about various destinations and we don't write any of this content ourselves we hire writers from Upwork and from various other places to actually write this content for us when we first started out with this website we used to write our own content once it started making money we got the budget to actually hire people to write for us we get thousands and thousands of visitors daily to this website and we get all of those visitors from Google Every day, thousands of people type various things into Google, such as snakes in Spain or some other search terms. And our website ranks on page one for a lot of these search terms. And once they type that into Google, they will generally click on some of the top five or six results. You can see here Travel Croc is ranking as number one for snakes in Spain. So if they click on this, they will land onto our site. They will read the information about snakes in Spain and they will also see these ads on our website. You can see there's an ad here for stays, another ad over here. 
and these ads are shown automatically by a company called Mediavine. I don't need to do anything to show these ads. I just need to copy and paste the content that the writers return and then these ads get inserted automatically by integration through Mediavine. Then Mediavine will pay us depending on how many visitors we get and these are our current session RPMs. RPM stands for revenue per mille, which is basically revenue per thousand visitors. So we'll make about 34 $35 for every thousand visitors that visit our website. Right now, our website ranks for 43,000 various organic keywords. It goes up all the time as our website grows. And we're in top 10 positions for some pretty cool keywords, which are bringing in a lot of traffic passively to us every single day. The reason why I really like being a website owner is because everything is 100% passive. I can leave today and go away for three months on a holiday and the website will continue to get the visitors and it will continue to make money. And another cool thing about being a website owner is that a website is an online asset. It's a business that you can later sell. There are websites such as Motion Invest where you can buy and sell websites. They're in high demand. And right now, let's just take a look at a couple of listings out of interest, online content sites for sale. You can see here, launchroof.com right now is making $1,441 per month and it's monetized with Mediavine, so very similar to our Travel Croc website, and it is being sold for $53,320. So they are applying a multiple of 37 times monthly income. So basically, just like a lot of other businesses, websites are being sold and bought at monthly multiple, which generally ranges between 35 times to 50 times the monthly income of the website. And building up a website and selling it can be very profitable. Check out some of these listings over here. A website with a monthly net profit of $27,000 is being sold for $1.3 million. So that's not a bad way to build up a website, perhaps spend one or two years building it up, get it to 20 to 30,000 a month profit, and then sell it and take a lump sum cash, which you can use any way you want. You can retire, buy something nice, or maybe reinvest all of these into setting up several more websites so that you can then repeat the process and sell more of these websites for a profit. So as you guys can see, being a website owner can be very, very profitable. And if you would like to learn how to start a niche website and how to grow it into a successful profitable big niche website then check my free training the links to that are just in the description below I show you step by step how to choose the right niche and how to start posting the content and get the traffic to your site if you guys learned something new today then please scroll below this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and enable all notifications that will really help me with the YouTube algorithm I really appreciate you guys watching this video thank you so much you guys are awesome so if you now want to learn some of my personal favorite ways to make money online then check out this link over here on the screen it will show you a super cool way to earn up to $3,000 per day making and posting very simple videos on YouTube. This method is really exploding right now, so I highly recommend that you check out this video next. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.